In the summer of 1964, hundreds of college students, white and black, headed south to Mississippi, where many blacks were still mired in a Jim Crow world of poverty and political impotence. These students from the North hoped to register black voters and establish so-called freedom schools to teach literacy skills to those who'd been denied them. They were traveling into a world where many people were set in their ways. President Lyndon Johnson warned the students that the federal government could not guarantee their safety. They received a lot of training to, in order to prepare them for life in Mississippi, which was not going to be very easy. It wasn't easy for us, and we tried to make that very clear to people. I mean, our lives are on, you know, they're in imminent danger every, every minute of the day. When we crossed the line into Mississippi, and it said, Mississippi welcomes you, it was the first time I felt really afraid. In the first group to arrive in Mississippi were students Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Cheney. Within days, all three of them were missing. Bob Moses, who was the head of the Mississippi Summer Project, brought the group together, told us that they were missing, and it was clear to all of us that it was extremely likely that they were dead. Six weeks after their disappearance, the three were discovered buried in an earthen dam, shot in the head. In that summer of 1964, the Ku Klux Klan was still trying to stop the forces of change. But among the students and in the homes and churches of the black community, the feeling grew stronger that change could not be prevented. We went up to the home of a very poor black woman, sharecropper shack. She had a bunch of kids. She came to the door, she looked at her feet, she said yes and no to everything we said. And we tried to persuade her to sign this. And it was very clear, she signed it, she might get thrown out of her home. After a few minutes of talking, she suddenly straightened up, looked us in the eyes and said, I'll sign it. And she signed it. That's how powerful the movement was.